One of the problems with experimenting with these balsa wood gliders is the simple fact that it's all glued together. So if you want to try something different, a different configuration, a different wing shape, a different tail assembly, you've got to pretty much build an entire new glider. But there is a way that you can work around that and make a airplane that's actually adjustable. It's pretty simple. What I've done is I've taken a piece of my scrap balsa wood, a fairly nice stiff piece, and cut a piece that is an eighth of an inch wide out of the sixteenth inch balsa. Then you can take the winger or tail assembly you want to use and simply glue that onto the center line. So you're going to glue that on the same way that you would glue your wing or tail onto the fuselage stick. So now you can just simply put that on and hold it on with tape and then you can try different shapes, move things around and uh, um, it's much easier to experiment. So you simply take your fuselage stick and take a piece of masking tape Put it over your little balsa wood strip, get everything lined up, and simply wrap the masking tape around the fuselage stick. Do the same thing in the back of the wing, tail assembly, same thing. Tape that on, and the airplane will fly perfectly well. It'll be the teeniest little bit heavier, but it's really, you know, for experimenting, the flexibility is much more uh, valuable. So you can take and make airplanes with different shaped wings. You can have tail assemblies, big ones, middle-sized ones, small ones. Try different combinations. Eliminate what doesn't work, and then see if you can fine-tune the things that do work.